welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are new here thank you so much for joining us if you are returning thank you thank you thank you you are fabulous like for real thank you i cannot thank you enough all right so today's video is a collaboration i know right another collaboration like how did this girl get so lucky oh my gosh let me just say this this crafting community is so supportive of each other and just it is just amazing to me how these people are and i just i love it i am so proud to be a part of this i am so glad that i started doing this channel it has really it's really lifted my spirits i mean it it, it is something that i needed to do for myself and i am so proud that i have met these people i have been fortunate enough to meet you know some of the other people and i just it is just awesome it is such an awesome little community all right so today's video is going to be with dun, 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 leonette from diy beauty on purpose i know right how exciting is that she is fabulous y'all you have to go check her out like this lady does everything she has got absolute god-given talent she does thrift flips she does trash to treasure she does look for less challenges she does uh dollar tree she does farmhouse I could go on and on like she literally does it all that you have to go check her out if you have not checked her channel out then most definitely please take a minute and go do that because you will not be disappointed she's that good so i'm gonna leave a um, link in the description box below yes i finally learned how to leave links <laughs> oh my gosh y'all i know bear with me i'm getting there okay i'm getting there i'm i'm starting to learn anyway so i'm gonna leave a, a link in the description box to her channel and also to this video that we are collaborating on and the title for this video is going to be farmhouse thrift flip i know right i love the thrift flips i love going shopping for the thrift flips my boyfriend don't like it so much but he'll be all right he don't have to know everything right i mean that's just part of it anyways so i love going in these thrift stores with nothing in mind you know just literally going in looking for something that like reaches out and grabs me and i'm taking that sucker home you know what i mean like i don't really go in with a specific thing in mind that i'm wanting to make normally i mean there's some things i might see on pinterest or whatnot and then i want to recreate that but typically i just go into these stores with no mindset just totally looking for something to reach out and say hey i need that you know so Anyways, that is what the title of this video is, and I hope that y'all enjoy it. I really think that you will. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you are not subscribed, please do so. That would be awesome. Give uh, Also, if you guys would share this video, that would be really awesome. Definitely, definitely do that. All right, so also check me out over on Instagram. It is blessed.beyond.measure.crafts. That is such a great way for me to communicate with y'all. It is, it's the perfect little platform for that. I have actually gotten the, the pleasure of being able to see some of my viewers like recreating some of the stuff that I've made. And that is so awesome. That just, oh, it just tickles my heart. I just, I absolutely love it. So that's a great way to, to communicate with me. That's just a good place to have, you know, a little bit of a rapport there. So anyways, definitely check me out over there on Instagram. It's blessed.beyond.measure.crafts. There you go. All right. So with all of that being said, let's get right into the video. Okay, y'all. So for this first DIY here, I have got a sign that I picked up a couple months ago at the um, Goodwill. I think I gave like $2.99 for it, maybe. I've got some Rust-Oleum chalk paint. I also had some stickers from the Dollar Tree and then my black paint that I always use that comes from the um, Dollar General store. All right. So first thing I do is just wipe this down really good. Now, the, si the picture that was on it was cute, but it just wasn't what I wanted this particular frame for. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, I know exactly what I'm doing with that. I need that. Gotta have it. So first thing I'm going to do here is paint the um, inside portion of this with my black paint. Just giving it a good coat. I believe I gave it two coats, actually. Two good solid coats. We're going to be doing um, like, st like sticker stencils. So that's why I wanted that that portion black now i am going to paint the frame white and i just go over it 
definitely, I believe it was two good coats on the, the frame portion. All right, so I'm going to take those stickers from the Dollar General or the Dollar Tree, and I have placed one to, to figure out my placement. And then I'm going to take some painter's tape, lay it across so I can have a straight line, and then I'm going to spell out the word farmhouse. Yeah, we're making a farmhouse sign. It's so cute, too. All right, so... I put my E at the end. I started out with my F and my A. I put my E just to find the placement. Um, now, of course, me, I've got to play around with them and make sure that it's exactly right because, you know, OCD, whatever. <laughs> it's got to be just right. All right. So, anyways, I've got farmhouse spelt out. Now, I'm going to go over this with my white paint. And then, yeah, of course, uh, let's peel the tape off there, silly. Yeah. Anyways try this again. Round two. All right. So I'm going over this with my white chalk paint. I'm going to give it two good coats right over the top. And then the plan was to peel those stickers off and we would have um, the word farmhouse. Well, when I went to peel them stickers off, those dudes had like disintegrated under that paint. I'm talking about they literally were coming off in tiny little pieces. It was awful. <laughs> so, now what? Oh my gracious. All right. No big deal. We'll figure it out. Tried to kind of scrape that off. Wasn't happening. I thought, forget it. We're not even going there. So, I just grab another pack of those stickers and we're going to go right over the top of these. Exactly. Right over the top of where we just placed those no big deal. This is what I should have done to begin with, but I was trying to do something a little different. <laughs> Learned my lesson. So FYI, don't use the Dollar Tree stickers as stencils. They That's not a good idea. <laughs> they it, The paint just kind of ate those, okay? All right, so I'm just going to spell out the word farmhouse. And like I said, I'm just going directly over the top of those um, stickers that were already down. I didn't even try to pull off any more of them because I knew that it was just going to be a disaster. So I thought, no, nah, we're just going to leave it, go right back over it. Now, I did add um, Mod Podge to the top of this to hold that on there good. And I also added a dot to the end, a, a black dot to the end of um, the farmhouse and to the beginning. I just thought it kind of set the word off real well. So I'm just giving it a good coat of Mod Podge, and that's just so those stickers will stay on. Now, I take my um, fingernail file there, and I go to distress this. It does so good, y'all. I'm talking about this is probably the best distressed I've ever done on anything because it, the, it just came off in the perfect places. I mean, this DIY was so simple. Other than the little sticker incident we had, which, hey, fix that one real quick. No big deal. It's just crafting, okay? <laughs> it's, not, it's not a big deal. Anyways, there you have it. So stinking cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. I'm actually going to make another one. I'm on the hunt for another one of these uh, these particular um, frames because I would like to make one for my mother-in-law. This is so cute. And it just, like I said, it just distressed so well. The paint came off in all the right places. It worked out perfect. I love this sign. So stinking cute. It's just perfect. Oh, I just love it. All right. Y'all don't forget to check out my friend over at um, DIY Beauty on Purpose. Her name is Leon Epp. And she is fantastic. Y'all have to check out her channel. She has got tons of videos on just about everything you can think of. She does anywhere from farmhouse to high end to uh, trash to treasure. Just she has got the videos. Her playlists are awesome. You can binge watch her for days. Like y'all have to go check her out for sure. Check her out. All right. This next one we've got here. I found this box. This is a bread box that I found. I think it's a bread box. That's what I turn it into anyways. <laughs> so this was actually on the back porch of my neighbors. I, and I asked if I could have it because it had been sitting there for months. It had gotten rained on. It was just, it was in bad shape. Okay. So I rescued, I rescued this bread box from my neighbor's house. Thank you. I'm so proud she gave it to me. So I just gave it one good coat of um, the Waverly chalk paint. 
No, not Waverly. Why did I say that? Rust-Oleum. It is the Rust-Oleum white linen. That is the chalk paint I have right now because I can't find the Waverly. So, anyways, um, I'm using these Waverly stickers. Maybe that's why I said that. Waverly stencils. Y'all, I can't talk today. Lord, have mercy. All right, so these stencils came like four letters on one on one page so it was kind of hard to do like that and i thought whatever i'm just cutting these dudes out and then i'm fixing to take some scotch tape and stick them to this thing so that's exactly what i did i spelled out the word bread stuck them down with scotch tape and then i'm going to take my little um pouncer brush i think that's how you say it pouncer um stenciling brush i don't know whatever you call it here and i am just gonna pat this paint right down onto there now i did do it pretty light do one light coat and then one good coat so it doesn't bleed um and then i just peeled my stencil off and you're left with the word bread now i at first was just gonna leave this straight white well then i was like yeah it's kind of plain so I decided to distress it a little, okay? Now, I wipe my brush off pretty good, I thought, and I go in to start distressing, and I always have a heavy hand. That's just the way I am. I, I seem to always heavy-handedly distress everything. Well, I way distress this. I did not like it at all. So, no big deal. It's just crafting. I grab my paint, and I just paint right back over the top of that, I'm going to fix it. I got just as close to the letters as I could. I actually ended up taking a smaller brush too and got inside those letters where where the um, black had gone. I just didn't like it. It wasn't, it was not, the paint was not in the direction I wanted. It just, it wasn't right. So then I go back over it with my brush um, and just distress it the way that I wanted it to look. And there you go. And I love this. Now, this is going to my mother-in-law's. I've already got this. This has a home. We have redone her kitchen in all farmhouse, and it looks so good, y'all. Oh, my gosh. It really looks great. So, this is going to be perfect in there. I'm very proud of this. I, I love it. I think it turned out great. I just added a little greenery there, sticking out the side, and boom. It is cute. Very cute. All right, this next one is my favorite piece out of the whole collection here. This tray I got for $4.99. And might I say, $4.99 is a little steep for the Goodwill. I, I believe, personally, that they have gone up since the COVID. If you've been to the Goodwill since COVID started, let me know in the comments, do you think that their prices have gone up? I mean, on everything, not just their houseware stuff. Everything, the prices have gone up. All right, so let me get off of that subject. I could stay there forever. All right. So, I just took my antique wax, and I'm going around only the edge, just the edge of this, like where the handle is and where that little lip is on it, because I'm actually going to be painting the inside part, the middle portion of this. But I wanted a little bit of the wood to show, the natural wood, just to um, kind of add some color to this collection, I guess you'd say. I just thought it would look better with a little bit of the natural wood showing. So I'm just giving this middle section two good coats of that um, white linen Rust-Oleum chalk paint. And then we're going to try out my new stencils. So I got the Buffalo Check stencils. These um, have got the solid hole and then they've got the little notched out hole. So what I did was the darker color, my darker gray that I had mixed up, and I mixed that up myself. That's just white and black paint, and I just mixed it to the color that I wanted it. Um, I went over the sections that had the little notches cut out with the darker color. And you got to be real careful because there's not much space between one square to the next. So I actually took my brush, got some paint on it, wiped it off a little bit, and then I run it through a paper towel to kind of flatten out my brush. I wanted it just as square and flat as I could get it. And then I'm going to go in and paint those squares that are left. But like I said, you had to be careful. There's not much room for um, error here. And Lord knows, I can mess up something in a heartbeat. I am like a bull in a china shop, so... <laughs> I have to be very careful. Uh, just paint it in those sections there. 
this turns out so good. Oh my gosh, I love it. Like this is my favorite, favorite piece out of this, this collection here. All right, so we're just going to peel that off. And I had put it down with some painter's tape just to hold it in, in place. And look, y'all. <gasps> I love it. Now, it did smear a little bit in some spots, but that's okay. This is farmhouse. It's not supposed to be perfect. So I was totally cool with it. Not a big deal. Just keep it moving. So I just laid that stencil down, did the same exact thing on the other side, obviously. We're going to peel that off and boom. This is so cute. Just wait a minute though. We're going to distress it and then you get to see how cute it is. Ah, so, so cute. All right. So took a little twine, wrapped that around the, um, the handles just to give it a little more something, just that, that one little pop, you know, of something else. It just needed it. I just did it with some hot glue. All right. So I start out, um, I'm going to take my fingernail file that I usually use uh, to distress. And as I'm trying to distress the wood part, it actually wouldn't really distress. Like I'm, I'm scraping on it and it's just kind of not really, you know, tech, you would think that it would turn like a whiter color of um, wood, but it didn't. It, you couldn't really see the distressing much on the wood. So I go in and start start doing at the um, paint and this paint was on good do y'all hear me it was on there real good so i am just scrubbing my little heart out and i'm barely taking any paint off so i thought you know what i'm gonna try it maybe one more time and then we're fixing to wet distress this dude so that's actually what we ended up doing i went across the wood a little bit more and then i go in with a baby wipe and I am going to just wet distress this, meaning you're just going to wipe the paint off. And this turns out so stinking cute. And now this is not hard to do. Not much elbow grease. You're just rubbing, kind of smearing. It works out so good. It took off just enough paint in just the right places. And I just kind of made my way around the board there um, or the, the tray. I just kind of made my way around and just picked out a couple different spots to really go at it hard. And then some, I just kind of lightened up the color a little, like maybe lightened up the gray and didn't go all the way down to the wood. It turned out so, so good though, y'all. See there, it doesn't take much to get it off. I mean, I'm, I'm rubbing vigorously, but... It's, it's not hard to do at all. And it just comes right off there. I didn't want to just distress this to the point that you couldn't tell that it was buffalo check anymore. So I just kind of left it at this. I just wanted a few places and check this dude out. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love this. You could lay this down like this. You could stand it up. You could prop it up in a corner in your, you know, kitchen maybe, or uh, put it on a, a sofa table. I mean, this would really go anywhere. Like, it's so stinking cute. Oh, I love it. I love it, y'all. Look at that. Oh, I love it. All right, so this next one is the easiest DIY I've ever done in my life, and it turns out so good. All right, these globe deals here, do you see that? If y'all remember the clocks that used to have that little turny thing in it, please comment in the, in the um, or leave a comment. Let me know. Because that's what those globes came from, was those clocks. Well, the clocks were broken, so all I wanted was the globe anyways. I wasn't worried about the clock part. So I got these for like dirt cheap at my favorite little thrift store rise above. All right. So I just took this, this, uh, wood portion here and I don't know what it went to. I have no clue. It was just in there too. And I thought this is perfect. All this goes, this goes so perfect together actually. So I actually bought all this at the same time. So I'm just giving this a couple coats of my, um, chalk paint, went over it with some Mod Podge just to make sure the paint stayed in place. I'm going to wrap a little bit of twine around one end just to give it a little more texture, to give it that one extra little, like I always say, that just that extra little pop of something. I washed them globes, and y'all, this turns out so stinking cute. Y'all are going to be like, oh my gosh, when you see what it actually turns into, okay? I was so excited when I found these in the thrift store. I got so excited. 
And like I said, I washed them globes up good and look, you've got yourself two very high end, if I may say myself, looking cloches. Look, I mean, they're perfect. It literally is a cloche. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, I just love this. These turned out so awesome and they are just, just an unusual find and just when you're in the thrift stores just be on keep your eye out for stuff that you 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 can just throw something together and really make something look high end all right so this next one here this um sign i got from the goodwill i think it was about 2.99 i actually got it a couple months ago also previous to the covid all right so the sign itself was a nice sign i like the whole deputies thing like that was cool but um that's not what I bought it for. I wanted to do the more of the shiplap look on it. So I'm taking some gray paint that I already had. Um, I was using for my, um, I was painting my, my laundry room. Lord have mercy. I couldn't get that out. <laughs> All right. So I just put that gray paint on to be my base paint and you could use anything. You could actually use uh, gray chalk paint. You could use regular paint, whatever, but I'm going to be using a couple different other colors to to make this um, shiplap look or weathered weathered uh, wood look. There you go. That's better. That's a better way to explain it. All right. So I'm just taking my black and I with a heavy hand because, like I said, I always have a heavy hand. I dry brush over with the black. Then I hit it with that hazelnut, and I did not like it at all. It looked like poo, y'all, smeared across there. I, it was awful. I'm sorry. That's so ugly to say, but it did. It was, it was, it, I didn't like it. So I just grabbed my silver lining and I go in with a heavy hand and cover up that hazel, hazelnut or whatever color it was. Yeah, hazelnut, wave release hazelnut. So like I said, I just take my silver lining, go right back over the top of that, cover that up pretty good. Um, went around in different spots with that that silver lining when you're doing this weathered wood honestly i feel like and i'm not a professional but i feel like you can just do it make it look like you want it to look just keep adding paint until it looks like you want it to look okay like whatever you feel like is a beautiful piece you just do it the way you want it to look and that's what I do. I just kind of add to it. I may get a little too much of this, and then I'm going to go back in with that, take this off, you know, just back and forth until I get it like I want it. Now, I did take some um, cashew and kind of pop at it to give it a little bit of a highlight in there. And then I went back with my black and just scrubbed it up. And I love the way it looks. I think it turned out great. All right, so I got this little um, shelf deal for $2.99 at the Goodwill. Um, it already had the, the cage look to it, like that chicken wire looking stuff. It already had all that on there. So I was like, oh, perfect. Hello. I know I can do something with that. So I get it home and I've got this board and I thought these two things may look like they were made for each other. It's exactly the right size. So I just painted that board. Then we're going to take this shelf. I screwed it on there two little tiny screws. I didn't need, I mean, I just used a regular old screwdriver to put this on. I don't own a screw gun or whatever you call them, a drill, <laughs> a screw gun. Oh my God. Okay. I don't own a drill. So anyways, I just screwed it on with a regular screwdriver, took a little twine, wrapped it around the top just for that extra little pop there. And you're done with this. And it looks so stinking cute. Check it out. That yum sign came from the Dollar General store. Those three bottles that are, you see up top, those came from the Dollar General store. I added those flowers in that came from the Dollar uh, Dollar Tree. And then that greenery, that little piece of greenery there came from Amazon. So super, super cheap, y'all. This is so cute. And it it's a good size piece. I mean, I, I think it is great. I love it. So stinking cute so farmhouse too all right so this next one i got this frame for dollar 99 now you can tell I, and it already had the chicken wire on it too and you so you know i got this before covid all right so it had been distressed already but it was like a gold color underneath it and so i didn't like that so i gave it a good two coats of the white chalk paint and then i'm going to take this gray that i already had mixed up from earlier 
and we're just going to pop over all the spots. You see there I'm wiping, I'm kind of trying to wipe my brush off quite a bit so that I don't, I don't have a whole lot of paint on there. Dry brushing over it and I'm actually just hitting the spots that will grab the paint not really like painting at it you're more or less letting it grab the paint if that makes any sense whatsoever you're don't don't go in for any of the spots that are bare go in for the places that have um like the indentions in them or like on the corners there where the two pieces of wood meet you see what i'm saying like where it'll grab the paint and that gives it the more of the distressed look to me I did go over it a little bit with my paint afterwards, but really when you hit those those main spots, that's what gives it that distress. All right, so I got these letters at Walmart. They were already whitewashed like that. I am just going to hot glue these dudes on, and this piece ends up looking like it came from Cracker Barrel or something, y'all. I love it. Like, I think it is so stinking cute. I know I say that all the time, but this one here really turns out really really good all right so i just added some hot glue and then i'm gonna take some popsicle sticks pop them on and boom we're done and i'm using this little bitty hot glue gun right now because my other one it just played out on me i don't know what happened to it but that dude he it just messed up real bad so anyways as i'm putting these letters on i realize that i don't have that a where i want it y'all know me OCD. It's got to be just right. It's got to be placed just right. Well, it's too far over to one side. So I'm literally taking a screwdriver at this point, trying to get this off of there. Y'all, those little mini glue sticks <laughs> ain't nothing to play with. They, they're they serious, okay? So after screwdriver fails, I end up taking my, which is what I should have done to begin with. Duh. Okay, blonde. But anyways, I took my little heat gun deal thing I got here and I just heated up the hot glue <laughs> to peel this off. Now, why did I not do this first? Really? Why did I not? I mean, come on. Anyways, done busted my knuckle. I mean, it was bad trying to get this dude off. And then once I got that glue hot, of course, it just pops right off. I mean, no big deal. Anyways, added a little more glue. Placed that a maybe a half a centimeter over not much at all, but it just, y'all, it had to be just right. So anyways, ah, oh, goodness. I love it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I just love this. I personally, I swear, I think it looks like it came from Cracker Barrel or somewhere. I love, love, love this. And it was so cheap. Those letters were like a dollar, maybe 97 cents actually from Walmart. The frame was $1.99, so three bucks. This is fabulous. I love this. All right, so for this last DIY, I've got this like decorative bowl deal here. Check this dude out. I, it is, it's got some color to it. We'll just say that. But it also has the black and white check. That's what caught my eye. So I grab it, bring it home. I'm going to take my white chalk paint and very carefully, I'm just going around that check. I want to keep the check, but I want the rest of it solid white. I got to get rid of those colors. Farmhouse don't have no yellow and purple, okay? <laughs> Not like that, anyways. All right, so I'm just going to give it one. No, why would I even say one? Because I think it was more like four. I think I give this thing four coats of paint to cover up those colors, actually. So I just go ahead and paint the entire thing except for where the black and white check was this turns out so cute i don't have anything like this yet i haven't done any type of bowls or anything like that so this was perfect i really needed this addition to to my stuff so i took my white and kind of popped over um a little bit of the black just so it didn't look so new you know it looked a little more worn it worked out perfect just kind of popped over it a little bit. Just in some different places. Just so it didn't look so, so new. The color wasn't so bright. Then I'm going to take my black. And I'm just going to, once again, go over in spots that um, will actually pull the paint. That are going to grab that paint. So I'm just going right over it around the edge 
just wherever I think it'll pull the paint. And it worked out really good. It turned out really, really cute. Just to kind of weather it a little bit. Give it that aged look. Right around the edges. I do a little around the bottom. I did take a baby wipe and wipe it off of where I had gotten some of the black on that white because I did not want that. That to me just looked, I don't know, dirty instead of weathered. So I did go back over the white. Now I'm going to take some twine and just wrap it around that bottom portion there. Just to give it that little pop. Y'all know I've got to have that one last little thing to add to it. And now the, the next part is the fun part. Because we are actually going to make some um, decorative balls to go in this bowl. I needed something to put in the bowl. So I, I thought, well, heck far. We'll just go on and make the balls. So I just added that twine all the way around. Went I went down a good ways with it. Now, the balls. All right, so I have got twine. I've got uh, masking tape. I have got these little moss nugget things from the Dollar Tree. I have also got Spanish moss, which I did not use. I've got sisal rope. And then I also had um, the moss sheeting, like the sheets of moss from the Dollar Tree. All right, so I just take my bag, roll it up in a ball. And then I'm going to take my masking tape and just tape it off taping it into a ball just keep forming it and and taping until you get the ball about the size that you're wanting you know get it about the size you want and in the shape that you're wanting it to be and then we're going to take these um the little moss nuggets and just cover this ball i'm just hot gluing these on there and it's kind of like putting a puzzle together you're just gonna place them uh you know, just all around it. And as you're doing it, you're still kind of squeezing it and forming it and kind of manipulating the ball to keep it in a round uh, shape. See, I'm just kind of squeezing it and, and pushing them around. And then I'm just taking different pieces that will fit, like I said, like a puzzle and just kind of placing them in there. These turn out so cute. And this was so cheap to do, y'all. This is a plastic bag with some masking tape and some Dollar Tree little nuggets, okay? These things sell for like $10 a piece in the in the stores. So, yeah. Ours are cheap. <laughs> All right. So, there we got that one. Now, it was like shedding this, this grass looking stuff off of it. So, I took my Loctite spray adhesive. Had no idea if this was going to work or not. But I just sprayed it down let it sit and dry and it was good to go it actually did work kind of like mod podge would have worked had you you know uh put that over the top of it so i'm um, once again just taking my bag make my ball now this time we're going to do the sisal rope because i wanted different um three different balls i didn't want all of the same thing so i'm just taking my rope and i am winding it around onto itself and then just gluing it onto itself actually and i just do that a couple times until i get it going around and then I start going around the ball I glue that whole piece down to the ball and then I start to glue the the rope um to to our little ball we've got going on more or less gluing it to the rope and the ball at the same time see how I'm just going around there and this one you're going to have to manipulate man, man I can't talk again oh my <laughs> you're going to have to manipulate pretty good because this that rope is stiff you know so you're going to have to play with it quite a bit to keep it um in a ball type shape but you just go all the way around just like that I'm going to snip that off there at the end and then I'm actually going to uh tuck it in so we're just going to snip it off and then tuck that end piece in. And then you've got the little rope ball. So now we've got a different texture at least to go in our um, our decorative bowl. See how I just kind of just kind of play with it until you get it round, you know. All right. So the for the third one, I took this uh, moss sheet, cut it in half, and I'm just gonna hot glue it straight to the ball. I just added a 
crap ton of hot glue to the ball and then laid the sheet down over the top of it. Now, you'll see here in a minute that it was we did it a little different um, on the second piece. And I don't, either way works. Doesn't really make a difference, I don't guess. As long as you get it to stick to that ball, you're good. All right, so the second piece, um, I was cooking supper while I was making these. And I had a pot about to put boil over, so my daughter stepped in to take care of the rest of this. So it's actually going to be her hands that you see now. <laughs> I just wanted to clarify that so y'all didn't think something was wrong. All right, so we're just taking that hot glue and she actually adds it to the uh, moss sheet first. And then she's gonna take it and add it to the ball. She just folds it around there and you're just making it look like a ball. I mean, it's there's really no specific way to do this. It's not it's not hard. You just literally are forming this thing into a ball. She just added hot glue anywhere that it wanted to come back up or was sticking up. She just added some hot glue. Mashed it down. Bless her heart. She helps. She's such a good girl. Y'all, I the Lord blessed me cuz I have a very very special daughter. She is very good. All right. And like I said, she's just adding that to there. Holding it down good. And then just kind of play with it until it's shape of the ball. And there you have it. You got a ball. A moss ball. She gave you the thumbs up there. It was good to go. <laughs> All right. So after she got done, there were a couple little places that uh, where the, the two pieces met that you could see the ball still. So I just added a little hot glue there and then took some of that moss that had fallen off of the sheet and just popped it right on top of it there. Just like you see. Just covering up those spaces with some of the moss that had fell, fallen off. Now... This one was wanting to come apart too, you know, as far as falling apart. So I added a little more of that Loctite spray to it to hold it together. Now I'm going to take my twine and I just cut me off a piece and I'm just going to wrap that around this uh, ball a couple times. I've seen them made this way. So that's kind of what I was going off of. Some of the stuff that I've seen on like Pinterest and stuff, they take the twine and, you know, wrap it around a couple times. So that's what we did. I just snip it off. I'm going to hot glue and hold it down. Let that dry there good. These turned out so cute. And look, now you've got three different balls for our decorative bowl. Turns out so cute. I added some fairy lights and y'all, a little bit of lamb's ear. Ah, so stinking cute. I love, love, love this. And like I said, I needed something like this to go with what I already have. So this turned out perfect. I just love it. When I bought that bowl, I had no idea what I was going to do with it. But boy, it really turned out cute. It did. And those balls well, could not be more perfect. I love them. Okay, y'all, what'd you think? 
pretty good, right? I love it all. I think it is all so stinking cute, <laughs> obviously. I totally think so. All right, so once again, these thrift flips are my favorite thing to do. I love this. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you if you did. Um, definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Um, leave me some comments. Let me know what you thought. Let's see what was your favorite. Do you even like the, the thrift um, videos? Let me know what you like. You know, I'm going to keep rolling these videos out as fast as I can, and I definitely want my, my content to be something that y'all want to see. So definitely know. let me know what you like. Let me know what you thought about the video. Don't forget to check out Leon Epp over on DIY Beauty on Purpose. Totally worth your time, I promise. She is so talented. Go check her out, for real. Go check her out. All right, so other than that, I think that this was a great video, and I hope y'all enjoyed. Thank you so very much for watching, and y'all have a very blessed day.